Well, hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a confession to make. On the video I just posted on the four compact rangefinder um, film cameras, I omitted to uh, speak in any detail about the Konica C35. I showed it to you, but I didn't actually talk too much about the actual camera. And uh, so that's just because I'm getting old, I get confused with what I'm doing half the time. I already thought I had spoken about it, but I hadn't. So I probably spoke about one of those cameras twice in that video. So watch that and see if that's what I did. I don't know. Anyway, rather than try and do the whole thing again, I thought I'd just go back and do a, a short video on the Konica C35 film camera. And uh, to throw in a, a bonus as well, I do have a Konica C35 EF film camera here. And uh, I'm going to talk about both, both those cameras. Um, very similar in some ways. They both have the same lens, but um, slightly different. So here we go. The first one, we'll go back to this Konica C35. That's it there. I did show it to you in the last video. It's a beautiful little compact camera. It's got a very uh, nice lens on it which is that one there, which is an f2.8, I think it is, f2.8, 38mm uh, Konica Exxonon lens. You can adjust the ISO of the film speeds down there, of course. You've got a hot shoe, you've also got a PC socket to put a flash on. So the focusing on this is via a... Um, uh, split image rangefinder focusing so you can actually precision your focus um, it's an automatic camera in that um, you can't set your you can't set your shutter speed that the camera will do it for you it's automatic and um, uh, it'll select a speed this goes all the way up from a 30th of a second to uh, 1 650th of a second and it'll select depending on your ISO it will select corresponding uh, apertures, f2.8, f4, f5.6, f8, and f14 it goes up to. So there you go. That's uh, that's the little um, compact one. This uh, It's a nice, chunky little camera, which I might have mentioned before, beautifully made, and um, got a very um, highly regarded lens on it. So that's, that's that little version of it, of the C35. So this other one is the C35. C35 EF and um, it's a plastic type camera There's not too much metal on there I think it's got a might be metal across the bottom plate there uh, but it's uh, got the same lens pretty much the uh, Konica Hexanon 38mm f2.8 and once again you can set your ISO speeds down here or ASA speeds it's also got the bonus of a pop-up flash you can pop the flash up and um, it doesn't have any provision to use an external flash or a, a, a either via a hot shoe or a um, PC socket. So it's pretty much a, a point and shoot type camera. You do have a zone focusing on this. You don't have a split image root viewfinder. So you've got, um, I'll have a look, show it to you, I think. Maybe we can see it on here. You can see those different uh, zone settings there. How do we move that around? There we go. So those symbols indicate pretty much the distances. And uh, if you want to look at it in actual feet and meters, you can look at it from, from that side there. So you can see moving along, you can change the focus with that. Okay, so what else can I tell you about it? I'll give you a little bit of a rundown. I had a, had a look on the... Um, the internet here. Um, I'll give you some of the uh, sp um, s specifications that I found here. I've already mentioned the, the lens, 38mm f2.8. The filter thread size is 46mm, so you can put a filter on it. Auto exposure via a CDS metering cell. Exposure setting is locked with half press of the shutter release button. There you go, that's interesting. And basically the shutter speeds on this model, if it was a 1977 model, which I don't think it is, um, it had a top shutter speed of uh, 250th of a second. But um, this one only has two speeds, uh, 60th of a second and 125th of a second. Focus range is, uh, I'm reading this off the screen obviously, 
one meter to infinity uh, with the display of the zone shown in the viewfinder so you can actually see the zone in the left hand side of the viewfinder and in the focusing barrel as well as a feet meter scale on the barrel too which I just showed you integrated auto flash with automatic adjustment of aperture according to ambient light and focus distance um, manual loading advancing and whoops where are we going wait a minute come back here manual loading advancing and rewinding of the film film speed range ISO 25 to 400 set manually by turning the disc power is the light meter requires a 1.3 volt PX675 mercury battery uh, a 1.5 volt button cell should work almost as well and the flash requires two AA alkaline batteries so there you go uh, in the later version apparently the 1977 onwards apart from the higher shutter speed it also had a self timer built into it so there you go there's the two two Konicas so you got two fix up for my blooper for the price of one the Konica C35 film camera old old school and this um, more advanced one with the um, electronic flash the EF stands for electronic flash and there were a few other variations of that particular camera that came out if you looked them up on the system so there you go thanks for watching sorry about my mistake in the last video and uh, I'll see you next time